We can all agree on that Michael Brecker was one of the greatest saxophonists on earth. And we all want to learn just a little bit of his amazingness in his playing. Michael Brecker mastered many techniques. One of the techniques he used in his playing was fall fingering and overtones. Michael Brecker interchanges the overtones with the real tone in many of his licks. Like in this leg where I play the G and the overtone G of the C and the A flat interchange with the overtone A flat of the D flat. Learn much more about overtones, check the link in the description. Brecker is a master of using pentatonics. The second part of this lick is no exception. Michael Brecker is obviously using a D minor pentatonic scale and playing that pentatonic scale in a certain pattern. I've checked one of Bogonzi's books and there is all the patterns in. Step, skip, step. Where the steps are just scale movement and the skips are skipping one note of the scale, jumping to the next one. The step, skip, step pattern would look like this down the D minor pentatonic scale. But Michael Brecker is of course using some alteration of this pattern. The first pattern Michael Brecker uses is a D minor triad with the A in the bottom of the fifth. The pattern would have been this if Michael Brecker have stayed in the pentatonic scale, playing a G instead of the F and the C instead of the A. The second pattern, Michael Brecker is actually playing the pattern that fits the pentatonic scale. In the third pattern, Michael Brecker plays a G7 chord down, substituting the A with the B, which gives a really nice outside sound in this pentatonic lick. And Michael Brecker skips the fourth pattern in the pentatonic scale. The fifth pattern, Michael Brecker is playing as an inversion. He's playing A, F, D and then adds the C at the end. The normal pattern in the pentatonic scale would be the D minor 7 chord down. And finishing off with the last pattern of the step, skip, step, playing only three notes of this one. Skipping that last note, that low C. Brecker is of course not just playing the patterns by the book. It's really our job to mix them up. And if you play this pentatonic pattern down, it sounds pretty plain to me too. But like this where I play the two first pattern. Then borrow the G7 Michael Brecker alteration. And use F minor as a G7 altered chord. And resolving to C major. This suddenly gives a lot of possibilities. In the lesson description on Patreon, I have added a lot of these Brecker imitation licks on the pentatonic scale. And also with a few alterations in there. Check it out on Patreon. This super lick is an A triad added a flat 9. The flat 9 gives a great outside sound in this lick. The first part is an encircling of the A. And the triad formation is a part of the octatonic scale. Michael Brecker is using one of the four major triads in the octatonic scale. And there are tons of ways of using the major triads with the flat 9. In this example, I'm using exactly that pattern, resolving to the D minor at the end. The next part of Michael Brecker's solo is again major triads with a leading tone. If you play this pattern, you use all four major triads in the octatonic scale, adding a whole step above the triad. Continuing the pattern using all four major chords with that leading tone above. It's a great line and it resolves beautifully to the D minor chord. And the last part of the Michael Brecker line using chromatics and bebop. The first four notes is encircling the E flat. And the E flat of course leads strongly towards that D at the end. Amazing forward motion by Michael Brecker. The next pattern is leading towards that C sharp. And the C sharp group is of course leading to that D at the end. The last group of four notes has one purpose, leading down to that F on the D minor chord. And what I said before, Michael Brecker is ending beautifully on that D minor. The last lick I would split up in parts and use directly in my own play. Using that chromatic bebop line as a beginning. And then adding my own version of the ending. And actually integrating a bit of octatonic scale before I resolve to the D minor. And exactly this I have done with many of the licks in the lesson manual on Patreon.
Mixing up the Michael Breaker licks, making new licks of his material and added exercise how to learn these licks. Check it out on Patreon. And of course you're welcome to go all in on Michael Breaker's playing in these two videos. Play music, have fun.